All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Zilchi, and welcome back to another solo leveling Arise video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the upgraded build for Shaheen. Uh, I say upgraded because the new core system came out, so I want to go ahead and show you guys what I have and how you want to build her artifact-wise. There's a few ways you can build her, maybe like a couple ways, two ways, actually. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. We'll talk about her weapon, what's an ideal spot for her weapon to be at. If you can craft it to A10 or if you should wait to just get it to A5, it would be perfect point to stop at that. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. If you guys did enjoy this video and you do find it helpful, be sure to hit that like button, comment, share, and subscribe. And let's just hop straight into it. So, first off, we're going to take a look at what I have her at, right? Like, we have her at level 92, A10. Total power at 230,000, HP 21,000, attack 25,356, and a defense at 10,439 with an A10 weapon. So right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and talk about the artifacts that I use here and, that this, and the stats that you want to work on. Right, so the artifacts I have, well, first off, we're actually going to take a look at the stats. So the stats, right, we have precision at 89%, we have a defense 29%. Crit rate at 50%. Again, 50% is the cap, so you don't really want to go past that. Uh, if you can get it just at the cap, then you're good. You're chilling. Uh, crit hit damage, 191% is very good. Honestly, 200% uh, is where I really want to get all my units to, but unfortunately, we don't get that lucky sometimes, to be honest with you. But we have damage increase, which is the next important stat, to 11%. Ideally, you want to get that as close to 20% as possible, so you can get more damage output overall, right? So there you have it. That's what you have right here. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the artifacts. I'm running the full eight piece curse set. Uh, you could go curse and then expert on this side. That would be for any attacking unit. That's probably the go to set is the curse and then the expert set on the right. It's the same thing with her, but I use a full curse, a full curse on her as well. But you could also go full curse uh, or four curse for expert. You can go four curse for what's that other one? Uh, outstanding ability. Or you can go for expert for curse that's the same for any of these attacking units and to be honest with you but yeah the only one that really doesn't need it or use the cur the expert set is the charlotte because she scales off of defense so she doesn't really get any attack boost from that anyway so it doesn't really matter but yeah so i'm going to show you guys the stats so what you want to work on right it says right here recommended sets crit hit rate crit hit damage and attack right so you want stats that give you crit hit rate attack and that's pretty much it, right? So on the headpiece, I have attack and attack percent crit rate right there. The back piece, I have additional attack and damage increase. Which again, guys, damage increase is very important. Honestly, this one, I would want plus two, plus two here. But I did not get that lucky, unfortunately. Uh, this one, we have additional attack with an attack percent. We have crit hit damage on the boots with, with damage increase and additional attack and attack percent. So if you take a look, I only have one crit rate on my piece, and it's this one right here. Uh, I'm going to show you guys where my other crit rate's coming from. You guys probably don't know, but it's definitely the cores. So we go ahead and take a look at that as well. Uh, on the necklace, we have additional attack, and then we have crit hit damage as the stats that you're looking for. Uh, this one, light damage, and then you have attack percent, additional attack. For this one, you would want plus two, plus two if you could, right? And in a gold version, but unfortunately, I only have this as... Uh, purple my best one is a purple one unfortunately like guys the game has had curse sets for so long and i don't have a single light damage gold uh curse artifact isn't that crazy that's absolutely ridiculous and the same for this thing additional attack this one is just the best ring piece that i have right for her so i'm just gonna go ahead and use it until i pull a better one uh for now this is just what we have yeah we have this piece right here very good piece right we have plus two attack percent plus one additional attack and then we have a crit hit damage if this was damage increase it would be even better so that's how you want to build it right you want to go full curse uh, or you could go four piece curse and then the four piece expert let's take a look i do have some decent expert sets that i could just show you guys real quick right the set the stats that you are looking for is the exact same thing right the exact same thing so necklace you want crit hit damage or attack percent or additional attack that's what she needs, right? Crit hit rate, crit hit damage attack. So on this side over here, on the right side, you'd want crit damage attack if you could. So hunt for those on the this piece, you want light damage. Jinu has my light damage one, I'm gonna be honest with you, because this is just the best piece for him that I could give him. I could give him the dark one, but as you can see, we're losing out on attack. And I actually do want the attack. We could give him the crit hit damage plus two, and I would actually be at 
like 200% crit hit damage with Janu. Right now we're at like 191%, which again is completely fine. But yeah, this is what we have. If I get a plus two on this, it actually wouldn't be too bad, right? But what's your news? Plus two? Okay, yeah, but then I'm losing out on crit damage. You know, let's just try this real quick. Let's try this real quick. Can we get a plus two on the attack? We did get a plus two. We actually did get a plus two. What is that? 16.55. So yeah, so we are still losing out on some attack here. But our deck damage does go up, which would be actually really good for a lot of the weapons for us. I'm going to keep that in the back. Uh, for the ring piece, you want... Okay, so... Guys, the ring piece is very important, all right? I used to have this piece on for my Janu, a attack percent plus additional attack. I've come to realize the additional attack, then attack percent uh, substat is a lot better because the attack percent substat actually goes past that uh, 20%. You can get up to 23%, while additional attack here, if you get it all the way up to 20, it could go past, which is basically this, 17, 15 as a max, right? So if you could get a ring piece that has that level, and this is just really good, a, a damage increase plus two, very good. If you get a ring piece that could go past that level, very, very, very good. And on this piece, for this one, what you're hunting for is crit hit damage, attack, attack percent, damage increase. If you can, I don't know if this piece can give you damage increase, probably. But yeah, that's basically what you want to do, right? So again, Shaheen, still very, very, very good now with the addition of Gunhee in the game and um, Min support. Very, very, very good unit. I do think everyone should definitely be working on her. She's been in the game long enough for you to have her pass A5 at this point. So you should be able to build her to a very good point and get your TP up and help you clear a lot of the content in this game. So now we can take a look at uh, where my crit rates come from. It's coming from this uh yeah that's pretty much it's coming from this we had an extra 2000 on top of the 1935 we have here so we're barely hitting the uh cap for crit hit rate which is very 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 good still right once we level this up to like a hundred percent eventually right now it's just really slow because the stuff that you need is ridiculous right i have 24 uh it's, i'm not gonna work, give it to her <laughs> i'm not gonna give it to her but yeah so once we get that that's gonna be no issue at all I think now that we're moving on to cores, I think what we should be doing is just focusing on the crit hit rate on cores and then just changing artifacts so that way you don't need to get crit hit rate. You just focus on damage increase and then just attack and crit hit damage, right? So I think that's what I'm going to start doing. Same thing with crit hit damage, right? Because you get your crit hit damage from the core as well. You see right there. And I think both of these can give you crit hit damage. So that's exactly how you want to be able to build your units moving forward, I think. That's what's going to be happening until they decide. Because I know they are adding a new uh, belt artifact to us, right? And I think a lot of people are saying that it's going to be damage increase main stat, which is actually very, very, very good. You guys don't know damage increase is a very important stat. I think the highest hunter that I have with a, like good damage increase, it might be, it is definitely not him. It's not her. It could be Mirei, maybe. It's also not Mirei. To not I see I have no idea it's one of these she's actually really high up I think I had her at like 70 not 70 percent I was gonna say 70 percent I think I had her up at like 24 percent about which one has like a really good one yeah I don't remember I actually have no idea but damage increase very very important stat that you guys should definitely work on I think my Janu right now we're at like a what are we at 17 15 percent yeah so very 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 good i have 194 percent right there we're gonna go over a janu build as well most important stats for janu and we're well not this video but in like probably like the next video and in the video after that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually showcase the baron fight because someone in the last comment said they wanted to see the team that we used and the weapons that we also use and just the format of what we had and what we did right so we're gonna go ahead and do that as well the skills all that don't worry i got you it is coming up but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video hit that like button comment share and subscribe actually i lied before we do that let's take a look at her weapon <laughs> before we do that let's take a look at her weapon i think her weapon is very good the only reason why you'd go past the a5 point is to get higher tp i think once you have the weapon at a5 you're completely fine but if you want higher tp 
you can go ahead and build it A10. I think most of these weapons in the game, you definitely want to get to A10 over time, right? But for now, I think A5 is absolutely perfect for all of these hunters, except Min. Min gets like really good, but the more he has, I'm pretty sure, right? I have, look, I have no copies of Min, except the one, but I should just start building him up. But I'm waiting till Thomas Andre drops, which should be very soon. I thought it was Wednesday, but it could be at the end of the month. I'm gonna be honest, it could be at the end of the month. So be on the lookout for him. Save up your stuff. I don't even know how many tickets I have for him, but we can take a look. I have 263 tickets. I don't even know how I got these. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have no idea, but I do have them and I am ready for him because you guys know I do well. These are from just um, the, the battle pass. I haven't bought anything in like the shop like that was considered expensive for me, like five dollars at most uh a lot of the stuff so yeah i am prepared for him i will be making a lot of videos for him you guys already know how it is but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video hit that like button comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace